As of February 21st, several serious security incidents and attacks were reported in the governorate of Dara. On February 18th, an unidentified gunman was killed on the Dara-Damascus highway when an improvised explosive device he was trying to plant prematurely exploded. On February 19th, Jamal Sharaf, a former commander of the Free Syrian Army, was shot and killed by two unidentified gunmen in the town of Dawa in the western countryside of Dara. Sharaf, also known as Abu Zain, was the commander of the FSA's Al-Azim group. In 2018, he joined the reconciliation process in Dara. On the same day, unidentified gunmen shot and killed two soldiers of the Syrian Arab Army in the town of Al-Sheikh Maskin in the northern countryside of Dara. Furthermore, the SAA's engineer units uncovered and dismantled two IEDs which were planted along the Dara-Damascus Highway. A third IED was found in the town of al Jaria al-Shakia, which is located a few kilometers to the east of the highway. On February 20th, two former FSA commanders, Abu Abid al-Rahman al-Masalma and Abu Jazwan Abu Nabut, survived an assassination attempt with an IED in Dara City. Both al-Masalma and Abu Nabut joined the 2018 Dara reconciliation process. However, they didn't enlist in any pro-government formations. The recent developments highlight the bad security situation in Dara. The SAA and other government forces have been making a substantial effort to secure the government. Nevertheless, more needs to be done. In Syria's central region, the Russian Aerospace Forces VKS continue their combat operations against ISIS cells. On February 19th, more than 70 Russian airstrikes targeted hideouts of ISIS in the outskirts of the town of al Sakna in the eastern Homs countryside, the Hama Aleppo Raqqa Triangle, and in the western desert of Deir Ezzor. The intense airstrikes didn't deter ISIS terrorists, who attacked a post of the SAA in the western desert of Deir Ezzor on February 20th. Two soldiers were reportedly killed in the attack. The VKS responded with a wave of airstrikes that targeted the Hama Aleppo Raqqa Triangle and the Al Bishri Mount, which lays along the border between Raqqa and Deir Ezzor. The ISIS insurgency in central Syria will not likely end anytime soon. Nevertheless, the situation in the region appears to be slowly improving. Meanwhile, the US led coalition continues to expand its military presence in Syria's northeastern region. On February 18th, the coalition announced that it had deployed additional M2A3 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicles IFVs, in the region. The coalition said that the decision to deploy the vehicles was motivated by the January 20th ISIS attack on the Al Hasaka prison. On the same day, the US-led coalition and its proxy, the Syrian Democratic Forces SDF, held live-fire drills near the Abu Kashab Road in the northern countryside of Deir Ezzor. ISIS's attack on the al Hasaka prison was also used to justify the drills. On the Syrian side, the SAA intercepted two U.S.-led coalition convoys near the towns of Tal al-Dahab in the northern al Hasaka countryside and al mujibriya in the eastern countryside of the government on February 19th. On February 20th, the SAA intercepted a third convoy of the coalition near the town of Shamiran in the northern al Hasaka countryside. These confrontations appear to be meant to restrict the movement of the U.S.-led coalition in the northeastern region. In Syria's northwestern region, known as Greater Idlib, the situation has been calmed to some extent. Very few ceasefire violations were reported as of February 21st. None of them resulted in any casualties. The situation in the region will not likely remain this calm for long.